Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm excited today to share this quick demo that I'm working on. This is a behind the scenes of uh, this uh, short film that uh, it's really just a concept idea that I've had in my mind and I wanted to bring it to life. Unfortunately, this new model came to, um, became available on uh, DAS 3D. And so I had to give it a try. <laughs> One of the things that were holding me back was definitely not being able to animate, you know, the character efficiently using my motion capture suit. But thankfully, and <laughs> in excitement, I was like, I have to share this guy. So I'm going to create a tutorial on how I was able to achieve this. This is the Android engine in the background. I'm using Live Link and the Axis Neuron Live Link. And this right here, so if you look at uh, Live Link over here, you can see it uh, transmitting using Studio. And over here, it's running uh, Studio. And I'm using the broadcast, like we've got settings over here, broadcasting. And I am using the UE mannequin. Okay. So that's what I wanted to share, but in, this is in real time. It's sending the data over there so I can just drag this onto the timeline in sequencer, rather in a, sorry, tech recorder, capture that, record it, and then put it on a timeline in sequencer and render out a, a cool short film. But uh, this was, I, I've had this idea for a while <laughs> and I've tried, you know, because I love the 3D, uh, does 3D models. They come really well textured, well rigged, and the artists put in so much effort in these models that uh, for me, whenever I see them, I just want to use them to use to tell a story. <laughs> it's like when I see a model, I'm always thinking, hmm, what kind of story can I tell using that character? You know, give it a backstory. So uh, I don't want to give away too much. But this is, uh, again, a short film that I'm creating inside of the Unreal Engine 5. And I'm going to be, it's lit with Lumen. And also in the background, you're going to see it's going to be using uh, fluid flags for some of the, the, uh, the for the uh, water effect. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to share this with you and tell, tell you guys that there's hope, definitely that uh, we will be able to drive our characters that if you have built up like a big big library of does 3d characters and now that uh, does 3d offers the does to unreal bridge for free you'll be able to bring a lot of those characters into the unreal engine 5 and uh, using the most recent uh, updated does to unreal bridge and then be able to stream using your perception or if you have a perception on three this it should work as well um today i'm not talking about excellence <laughs> or rococo it's mainly because i use the perception neuron studio suit yeah this is the test that i'm sharing with but isn't that exciting so 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 awesome so cool so cool and it cap it's capturing the fingers really well look at that <laughs> it's amazing how they were able to actually do stretch the body up because this is a really a big suit that this character is driving but uh man being able to capture this using this cool solid data is awesome anyway thank you so much for joining me today uh if you're new to my channel do please spare a minute to subscribe hit the notification bell so you're alerted when i post a new video and as i always tell you guys dare to dream big uh it's an amazing time to be alive as an artist and uh may we continue to use these tools to tell our stories don't let uh, an idea sit in your brain when you have tools like these available especially does 3d even it gets a bad rap by people saying that you didn't make the model, but if you have an idea in your mind and you see a model that is uh, it, that you're able to use as a concept, and then maybe later on when you get funding, you're able to bring it to life, take advantage of that. And uh, if you have a motion capture suit, for example, the PN3, which is much cheaper than the PN Studio suit, then give it a try. You know, this is really cool. So I'll put together a tutorial again, guys, to show you how I was able to bring this to life. But first, I want to finish the short film, the sci-fi short film, so that then I can walk everyone through the process of how I was able to bring it to life. 
thanks so much again as always dare to dream big never give up on your dreams i'll continue praying for you all bye for now